Okay, so here's an example of a chain of reasoning applied to a question on currency intervention. Again, we're looking here to build clear chains of reasoning. It is so helpful to examiners if you do this in your paper. They'll give you better marks for analysis. Here's our question. Explain two ways in which a central bank could cause or can cause a currency depreciation. So here we go. Uh, While well, attempts by a central bank to cause a currency depreciation happens in a floating exchange rate system, indeed, to be more precise, a managed floating exchange rate system, and define the term depreciation is a drop in the external value of one currency against another. Now we build our chain. One policy is to cut interest rates. This is designed to cause an outflow of hot money from the banking system and an increase in currency flowing overseas, seeking a better return. So explaining here how low interest rates could cause an outflow of hot money. Another intervention would be for the central bank to go directly into the foreign exchange markets and sell your country's own currency and buy foreign currencies. We need to put a chain in here. This again leads to an increase in the market supply of the domestic currency and other things being the same, a fall in the exchange rate. One effect of this would be a rise in foreign currency reserves. Clear building your chains of reasoning, clear short paragraphs are a way of getting your point across with the minimum of fuss, the maximum of effectiveness. And this is all a good way of improving your exam score.